Let's go. Josh! I just gotta remember how to... I just gotta remember how to freaking speed up. Is there a button I used? Or am I just thinking of things? I don't know, I feel like there's some kind of boost button I used earlier. Here we go! Oh, oh, okay, suck, suck, suck. Whee! Come on! Get over here! I will end you! You annoying unversed! Get out of my way! Thank you. Come on! Come on! Get! I'm getting away with this! Just get hit! Uh, I miss Aqua's bow and arrow! As nonsensical as it was, it was practical! Why can I not charge even further? Or hit them? Can't you shot like? No, I can't. of course I can, because I'm not using, using my keyblade. Just die already! Come on! Hold still, you friggin' tool! Ridiculous. Oh, fine. But this is the hard way. Let's go. Yeah. I will murder you! Huh. Yep, I'll wait for him. Huh. 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 Yeah. There we go, jeez! Yeah, F you, buddy! Get! Over here! Huh. Oh my! Ah! And that's not even what we're supposed to do, was it? That's not what I meant to do. Back outside, please. Now waste my time on this again. At least not until I make sure. Yep, you're supposed to go straight over there. And it takes you back here. Wonderful! Well, either way, here we are at the launch deck once again. I think this is right. Yeah, it is. Here you find ourselves three churches as well as some very angry sir, uh, turrets. So, um, be careful. I gotta shoot ya. Largely for us, we're a little well prepared this time. Hiya, 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 hiya. Screw you. Activate the anti-transport thing in the bubble. Or actually, I probably should dis disable it just for, uh. Oh! Hey! What guy? Quick! He came in like a wrecking ball! Where's my mirror crash? Screw you! Get rid of all these guys! Haha! <laughs> I wish they were easier to get rid of. You got such bulky HP. Did I get interrupted by that thing? There we go. Worth it. Okay. So before we head the way we're supposed to head, let's see if we can go this way. Yes, we can. We got ourselves one treasure chest right over here with a mind square command. We can't go this way, but we can go back this way. As you'd expect. And now we gotta actually activate the thing. So let's do that. Activate that. And a gravity go. Jump over here. Do that. And then do the same over here. Like three more treasure chests. One which contains the uh, Thundara. And we're ready to move on to the next area. And don't ask me why I said three more treasure chests. I don't know. My brain went kaput. But we go this way. And now we're back here, which has no zero gravity. On the plus side, we actually spawn at the very top of the time. So we don't need to make our way up. We can actually just probably grab all the chests in our first go. If we're, you know, good enough. Now yeah. Where they are. Let's see here. Because there's obviously one right over here. That's why they had this thing in the first place. Don't 
activate Chaos Blade. That's a bad idea. Grab this with a fleeing crystal. Good. Huh. Lower these couple directions. Oh, die you. Die you. Huh. Ah, here's treasure chest number two. The hungry crystal. Yeah. E. Woo. I said, oh, I did. I'll get. I'll take it. Just go. And then last but certainly not least. A mega potion. As uh, a activate, please. Let's be on our way. Just try and catch us, little unburst. Into the next area. And now we're back in the control room. With still no cutscene initiated. Weirdly enough. Well, what you gonna do? Anyway, let me catch up on things real quick. So we grab that. We got that. Check. Okay, we're on the right track. That's good. That's good to hear. Let's move on to the next area. Yeah. And here we got we got a little interesting thing. So beforehand, this place got completely shut off, or before we actually could visit this place, but now it's completely shut off to us. So now we just got we can only visit from a different angle. Before we go in here, or we're supposed to go, as you can probably guess, come over here, grab ourselves. Here's one chest, the high potion. Stop that. There should be another one around here, but unless I just barely grabbed it. Oh yeah, I just barely grabbed it. Okay, we're good. And with that, we're good to go. Is it not such tremendous power in such itty bitty package? Truly, he's the one, and that's the old man. The mightiest creature in all of galaxy. And his only singular instinct to destroy everything he touches. See? What? That's not what you said, buddy. When did you give that back? Ulit is already marked for destruction. No, stop! My friend gave me that. <laughs> oh. Friend, are you joking? <laughs> Such concept is totally lost on six to six. <laughs> is it though? <laughs> Cause he's even dropped the thing. Which is reaction enough in my opinion. Funny. This whole time I've been telling myself I want to be stronger. More independent. But the second I let my heart do the talking, I find out how little I really know myself. And how much I miss them. Yep. It's that amazing how two things can contradict. You sure about him? Maybe in his heart he wants friends, just like the rest of us. Impossible, Petty. He has no actual feelings, only destructive instincts I have carefully chosen for him. Or perhaps you need another demonstration of my evil geniusness. <laughs> Wait, what? Really? Yes, really. Put a stop to experiment 221. Yep. Just look down his geniusness. Quote unquote. We get ourselves a boss fight! And when you put a stop to him, beware of thunder attacks. So yeah, pretty interesting fight. So the way this is gonna work is, you can attack him, but he's gonna do a lot of damage. Immediately I recommend Shawlock on him, unlike, unlike what I'm doing. Or actually, don't even do, maybe not even do that. Ow! One thing you wanna be certain though, is that, well, be ready for when he does one like, little trick of his. This little trick, in fact. I'll go in the middle. You block these right back at him. Although it doesn't really do much. It's I mean it's something, but nothing. Eventually, I don't know when it's gonna come to it. Hmm, he hasn't done it yet. Interesting. Oh, well that's one thing. Well, I'm waiting for him to really do. And he doesn't even seem to be doing it. 
Maybe I need to give him some critical HP. No? Here he goes, okay. Eventually you'll start possessing these little guns here and they'll fire right at you. Recommendation? Chaos Blade! Oh, well, that backfired. Or Meteor Crash! Destroys him immediately, making him vulnerable for your finishing attacks. And from that, you learn Thunderbolt Command. And it's a thing way to learn it, but still wish I could have gotten this earlier. I'm just saying. Oh, you'll be all right, little one. <laughs> Give me one reason why I shouldn't pop your head open. Like a freaking Pez dispenser. What is it? Why have you returned? Maybe he's wondering what a friend is. Ridiculous! My name is Terra. Terra. Yes. I can't explain friendship. When you feel it, you'll know it. Not if I have any say in matter. You are only meant to think about what it is you will destroy next. Now, I fix what is wrong with you. Wow, no! No, no, no! Red alert, red alert! It's Pyramid 626 and two prisoners have escaped from the cell bay. Really? Security now they've done this? Huh. Pyramid 626 and two prisoners have escaped from the cell Well, we can't stay here and get caught. Nope. Let's get out of here. Good thing we can open portals at will. Makes life so much easier, huh? Aqua. I'll find some way to make things right. Yeah, yeah, but let's get out of here first, please. Before anything else goes awry. And like that, we forge a deep link with experiment 626. And get ourselves a hyperdrive keyblade. You know, just... And there we go! So Terra's the one who teaches... Uh, Stitch about friendship. What are the odds of that? Well, either way, by completing the world, we get to visit Neverland one final time. But of course, we're not done quite yet. No, we haven't gotten all the treasure chests yet. So what do you say we hound back to, uh... The control room and carry ourselves the last two treasure chests, hmm? I think that's a pretty smooth idea. So we head on down this way back to the ship's corridor. And now, if I remember right, we should be able to access these, uh, the other, yeah, the whole other side of this area. Which now can take us back to the Durgan transporter. See, so yeah, you thought was, that was actually blocking off the uh, right path? Nope. The left path was actually the one we were supposed to go to. What are the odds of that? But anyway, now we can visit the entire area, and I'm going the wrong direction, and... Wait, was it? Oh, that thing was under the floor! Okay, I just noticed that in the playback. That was weird. Anyway, we can... here we get ourselves the Warp Command, which is a very, very awesome command, if you remember it from Rechain of Memories, and the Pulsing Crystal. And you can go back into here, the containment pod, but there's not really any treasure chests to grab, just bunches of them burst. This is BS! Go, Chaos Blade, please! Save me! Save me! Save me! Save me! Save me! Please, before I get frozen! You're done! Dang it! Yeah, I forgot to mention this before, but the hourglass can actually put a temporary stop on you. Very annoying when you're using certain commands. Anyway, oh, oh, frick, are you serious? Please, let's get rid of you. That's not what I meant to do. Man, these guys just love respawning, huh? Let's just get this over with. It's like... Warp. Yeah. So long. You're done. There we go. One, two, three. Last one. Good. 
when rock bear no, so we can win this pretty easily. And if not, well, Rockbreaker will at least do the trick in fishing it. Okay. So the command we just got, Warp. Warp is basically an area clear nuke. Kind of like Mega Flare in a sense, but very weird. Potentially wipe out wipe an enemy from existence. However, you will not receive XP, but the enemy will still drop prizes. Don't level up from attacking these guys with this command. It makes sense fittingly because that'd be a little too overpowered. But yeah. Either besides that, it actually does have its own little use. For you see, this with one other command can make another command. And I know that's very vague, but you'll see what I mean next time. So speaking of which, let's go over the melding for next time, shall we? Just gonna head over back to the control room to get to the Moogle shop. I'll be good to go. Alright. Ow. So besides what we've already got right now, what do we melt for next time? That's a good question, because I don't even remember what we're supposed to melt. Uh, let's see what we have here. Or, I guess grind is more accurate. Oh, it's actually fairly simple. So, grind the commands we got last time, obviously, including warp. And if you managed to... If you make, if you had to physically make quick instead of actually get the random chance, grind the brutal blast that you have on your person from the chest. Besides that, you're pretty much sent stone. Yeah, you guys really can't relax, so we're pretty much done with our melding. We've got a few more things to do, but after that... It's complete relaxation time. So with that said and done, guys, that's going to do it for this session, or episode, of Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. If you guys have enjoyed so far, of course, as always, make sure to leave a like and comment down below. Share this video with your friends, should if you'll need to. And of course, subscribe if you're new here on our channel, and join the Dread Knights, Terra, Vendors, and Aqua, specifically Terra in this case, in their quest to see what's going on in Neverland, see how things play out, and how things will lead up to the Keyblade Graveyard. Or if there's anything between that. But hey, until next time, this is Smash 4 signing out. Have a great your day, take care, and as always, well, MTU for the end curse slate. And I'll catch you guys in the next session.